Good morning, welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, July 6, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to Caddx TV. Well, yesterday in Greece, in a uh, surprisingly strong vote, 61 to 39 percent, the uh, Greek uh, voting population voted no against uh, any ongoing or increased austerity moves mandated by the European creditors. Alexis Tsipras, uh, who was the Prime Minister of Greece, uh, made a nationwide TV address after the polls closed, thanking the Greek people for their very courageous vote. Uh, almost immediately, the uh, chief negotiator in the uh, bailout talks uh, for Greece, Yanis Varoufakis, who was the finance minister, resigned. Mr. Varoufakis had a relatively testy reputation amongst Greek, uh, Greece's creditors, especially the Germans. Uh, quickly, uh, Italian officials called for Greece and its creditors to resume negotiation, as well as uh, to signal an increased willingness to compromise. Uh, the German uh, head of the Banking Association in Germany said immediate consequences of any Greek default should be manageable for banks in Germany and in the other Euro states. Uh, Eurozone finance ministers say they uh, expect to hear a new Greek proposal tomorrow and when they meet in Brussels. And also, uh, the Greek Prime Minister Tsipras and Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke by the t on phone uh, on a phone conversation today, in between discussions that Tsipras had been having with his political parties and you know, with creditors. There's no mention of possible Russian financial support. However, uh, you can be sure that that is something that Mr. Tsipras will raise with the Europeans. Uh, that's not a uh, desired outcome from Brussels' perspective. Meanwhile, the Germans continue to insist that the current Greek debt is sustainable, and uh, they are uh, definitely against any write-downs or decreases in the debt. Uh, they said there is absolutely no reason to change their view that the Greek debt is sustainable, and it is on this basis that German officials would re-enter any future talks with Greece. Um, they did not comment particularly on Mr. Varoufakis's resignation, although a spokesperson for Angela Merkel said that uh, it's always about positions, not personalities, and Varoufakis was never her partner. Uh, in a statement announcing his resignation, Varoufakis had said, I was made aware of a certain preference by some Eurogroup participants and partners for my absence. Um, and this was something that uh, Prime Minister Cyprus judged to be potentially helpful if he was to exit. So he, in fact, was shown the door. <clears throat> so um, the situation remains as unclear as usual. Uh, the uh, euro has slipped a little bit, but not as much as expected. Uh, stock market trading in Europe was down, but not as much as expected. The American stock market, which uh, will not open for another hour, uh, the futures are down, but uh, again, not as much as expected, so maybe the contagion has been held. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, um, on uh, Sunday night, last evening, apparently Boko Haram killed 44 people in attacks in uh, the city of Jos, J-O-S, which is a state capital. Uh, there were attacks on a restaurant and on a mosque in the central Nigerian city. Uh, this is interesting because Boko Haram uh, main goal is to carve out a radical Islamic state in the northeast of Nigeria, so why they would attack a mosque is uh, unknown. Meanwhile, in China, officials are saying that a shoe factory has collapsed in the eastern part of the country. Uh, the collapse happened on Saturday in Zhejiang province city of Wenling. Uh, the city official said that uh, 42 people have been pulled from the rubble um, some nine at least have died, although that total is expected to increase and the investigation uh, concerning the accident is ongoing. In the United States, uh, before the uh, 4th of July weekend began, the Justice Department announced that it's investigating whether American uh, U.S.-based airlines are colluding in an attempt to grow at a slower pace as part of an effort to keep airfares high. The government's requested information from airlines as part of their antitrust investigation. The Justice Department said that the uh, department is investigating potential unlawful coordination among some airlines. As a result of a series of mergers starting in 2008, American Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines now control more than 80% of the seats in U.S. skies. They've eliminated unprofitable flights, uh, filled a higher percentage of seats on planes, 
and have worked the slow growth in order to command higher airfares. If uh, the Justice Department finds that those airlines are talking to each other to coordinate this activity, there are going to be very big fines. There's a super heat wave going on in Europe. Uh, we didn't really take notice of this. We've been preoccupied with Greece as well as other things, including uh, the ongoing uh, partner rediscussion. However, this could end up as Europe's third significant heat wave of the century. Uh, the temperature high heat wave continues there this week. High temperature warnings have been issued in Poland, Hungary, and Switzerland, as well as in uh, southern Spain and the province of Cordoba. Later on this week in northwestern Europe, there's going to be more heat. How much heat? Well, last Monday on the 29th of June, Madrid's International Airport reported 104 degrees uh, for, the, for the first uh, time in June since records have begun to be kept. Cordoba uh, on June 28th reached 110 degrees. Last Wednesday at Heathrow Airport in London, the temperature reached 99 degrees. France saw a number of records being broken, as well as in Dieppe on the coast, 101 degrees was there. The uh, UK Met Office has suggested that over the past 10 to 15 years, the likelihood of a, quote, very hot summer has risen from once every 50 years to once every five years. In the United States and in other parts of the world, 100 degree temperatures in the summer are, are not particularly abnormal. However, in Western Europe, uh, they can be deadly. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news on Greece or on anything else, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.